down goat. Today we're going to be discussing polio and goats, causes, symptoms, and treatment. Disclaimer. The information available in this video is intended for entertainment purposes only and is not intended to be a substitution for consulting a veterinarian or obtaining veterinary advice, diagnosis, and or treatment. Polio encephalomalacia, or PEM, has no relation to the polio virus found in humans and can be successfully treated at first signs of the symptoms. The most common cause of polio in ruminants is the thiamine or B1 deficiency. B1 is a water-soluble vitamin that is crucial to the role of glucose metabolism. The brain is a high consumer of energy, which comes from glucose. Any disruption to this process can quickly cause issues as the brain is the central command center. Sheep and goats get their thiamine not from cells, but from the microbes within their rumen. Most often, polio symptoms are seen in kids and lambs as they transition from milk to forage, as this will often take time for the rumen microbiome to become established. Other things that can affect the production of thiamine is stress, change in diet, poor diet, sulfur-rich diets like grains from distilling, as well as thiamine-robbing organisms like coccidia and its treatment. Catching symptoms early directly correlates to how effective a treatment will be. Since the brain is our highest consumer of glucose, symptoms first materialize as neurological. You might get a droopy ear or a head tilt, an involuntary eye movement, blindness, dilated pupils, a weak gait, inability to stand, and even seizures. Advanced stages, an animal will have death arch to their head and neck. Symptoms can be very similar to listeriosis, and early treatment is key. Since thiamine treatment is rather benign, starting treatment at early symptoms is recommended. Having access to a vet to provide you with prescription thiamine, antibiotics, and pain and inflammation medication is ideal. However, if it's a holiday and a vet isn't available, like what happened to me, there are over-counter medications that will work just as well. The following video will follow the timeline of symptoms and treatment course that I followed over a long holiday weekend. Good morning. Um, we have a sick goat or a down goat and what we're dealing with is technically polio. It can be caused when the rumen gets a little nuts and it starts having issues with vitamin B. It is a thiamine vitamin B issue which then results into polio. Um, your symptoms are going to be head shaking, eye twitching, inability to stand, down, screaming. Um, in this case, I finally managed to get a fecal sample out of her and she does have coccidia. Coccidia actually also um, causes issues with thiamine. They tend to thrive on it, so they prevent the vitamin B getting to them. And um, all of a sudden you'll start getting tremors and all that fun good stuff. Which means you need thiamine or vitamin B complex and we're gonna treat aggressively. I've been treating her since last night. She got LA200, kill any bacteria that's going wrong in her gut. Um, anything that might be doing the wrong thing. Five cc's right in the muscle of vitamin B complex. And then we've been doing five cc's sub Q um, every four to six hours. I think I'm doing a five hour rotation right now until we see symptoms um, subside. And then I will continue to do that every four to six hours for 24 hours after her symptoms have uh, subsided. And we're gonna try to give her a bottle just milk and yogurt with live active culture, see if we can jumpstart a room into doing the right thing. I did treat her with um, stuff for her coccidia. Film it. Hi, would you like something to suck on? This tastes good, I promise you. It's gonna taste yummy. By the way, to give some cue, you're going to pinch the skin, dab right alongside, 
sure it doesn't puncture through.